Me and Glue have a love-hate relationship because sometimes they release the best stuff and they just carry the MLB fandom, but other times they just release way too much stuff and you're just like, okay, calm down. But in this case, I really like Glue because they are carrying the fandom when it comes to spoilers right now. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, Glue released a new season 5 trailer and also some release dates for the English dub of Miraculous was released by Disney Channel, so let's just get into everything. So the trailer starts off with Marinette just jogging when she stumbles across an ad of Adrian. It's actually the ad that we saw at the end of Multiplication. Tiki then sees Adrian in the ad and says, he looks so real. We then see Marinette talking to Tiki and she looks kind of mad. But she says, as long as I am Ladybug, I refuse to be in love with Adrian or anyone else. I lost possession of the miraculous because of love. And while she's saying that, it's showing clips from Kwame's Choice, which we already kind of saw that scene. But we haven't actually seen these specific clips. It's just Adrian looking at Marinette and Marinette looking at Adrian. Adrian is so in love and that's all I have to say about that. But yeah, it shows those clips and it also shows a clip from Strike Back. So as she's talking, she's just thinking back to what happened in Strike Back. Next, Gabriel grabs Adrian's hand and puts the ring we saw Gabriel and Mrs. Sarugi make in multiplication on and then he just walks off. His face looks really creepy. I- oh. But I feel really bad for Adrian here because he just does not look happy at all, which I feel like is probably going to end up being a pretty common thing in season 5. The next clip in the trailer is of Marinette picking up a box that has the ring once again that Gabriel and Mr. Rugi made in multiplication. Lila pops up on the screen that comes from the ring and says, hello, I'm Alliance, what's your name? But like, could you imagine having a ring that basically makes you have to look and talk to Lila like 24-7? No, thank you. We then see Gabriel in his lair and he says, I found you, Ladybug. I'm just gonna leave that there. Moving on, we see someone, most likely the Dark Owl, going to grab Ladybug's earrings while she is distracted by something. I'm not gonna go into that because I've probably said that a million times, but if you guys watch my channel, you probably know my theories about that. Then we have Tiki and Plag both waking up Marinette and Adrian. They both say to their owners that they've been amazing superheroes, but their mission is complete. And while Tiki and Plag are talking, it shows Ladybug and Cat Noir on the Eiffel Tower and everyone's cheering for them. Adrian then takes off his ring and Marinette takes off her earrings. They both give their miraculous to the Kwamis. Next up is a bunch of clips of Gabriel. We see him opening up a case. We see a bunch of rings with miraculous symbols on them in trays. This weird, well, I don't know what it is to be honest, but there's that. We see him with all of the rings on his fingers and then all of the Kwamis in whatever this is. And while we see all of this, Natalie is saying, you used to do this out of love for Emily, but now you're just doing this out of madness, which I mean, is she wrong though? Then we see Miss Wax statue akumatized girl <laughs> taking one of her cards and sticking it onto a wax statue of Rena Rouge and her coming to life. We also see Adrian and Marinette hiding. I'm guessing they're just watching everything that's going on. Up next is a clip of a yellow glow and then Time Tagger appearing, which you know what that means. Time Tagger is back. Honestly, didn't expect him to ever make another appearance, but I'm happy about it. We then see Poor Ladybug getting kicked in the face. I'm pretty sure it's by Dark Owl. She also goes like flying back into the wall. One of the last things we see is a new akumatized villain. Well, it's not really new because we've already seen her before, but we just didn't really see her face and like her full akumatized look but now we have seen her face and it definitely looks like natalie especially because of like the red streak in her hair why she got akumatized and how i have no idea i personally didn't think that she would be akumatized mainly because i didn't think that natalie would be working with gabriel and i'm pretty sure he would only really akumatize her if she was working with him still so i don't really know i'm kind of confused on that part but i guess we'll just have to wait to see what happens when the episode comes out but also i've seen a lot of people speculating that maybe her power is to bring back other akumatized villains and that's why we saw time tagger coming back because natalie brought him back also in the scene where we do see natalie's akumatized form she's like shooting this yellow thing and when time tagger came back there was like this yellow poof <laughs> around him when he came back. So personally, I could totally see that being the case. Anyway, moving on, we see who we think is Bob Roth Akumatai stomping on the ground and then shooting something out of his hands. Or maybe not shooting something out of his hands, but shooting his hands. We then see a clip of Ladybug and Cat Noir, or more specifically, a de-transforming Cat Noir in the sewers. I really don't know what's going on in here, but Ladybug looks really stiff. And just like, why is Cat Noir de-transforming? Why is he holding her? Why is she covering her eyes? Why does it look like she's peeking? And then what is about to hit them? Cause there's like these yellow stuff about to hit them. I don't know, honestly, I just have so many questions about it. Also not to mention, while these clips were shown, you can hear Natalie 
say it's time to risk everything. And then the last scene is of Natalie on the phone with Amelie, and Amelie says, I'm counting on you, Natalie. So anyway, that's all we have for the trailer, but more important, now it's time for release dates. So as most of you hopefully know, Disney Channel US is releasing Evolution on October 8th. I talked about this in my last video. But now we have new release dates for episodes in English, but not only episodes in English, like new episodes in English, like ones that have not been released yet. The two that are being released are Destruction and Jubilation. So if Glue doesn't release these episodes before the release dates that I'm going to tell you, we could have two episodes in English very first, which I'm really happy about because with season four, there weren't a whole lot of episodes that we got the English dub very first with. So I'm really happy about that. But anyway, so Destruction, Episode 3 of Season 5 is being released in English on October 22nd, and Jubilation, which is Episode 4 of Season 5, is going to be released on October 29th, which is actually the day after my birthday. Kinda sad they didn't decide to release it one day earlier, so that way an episode would come out on my birthday, but you know what? It's a good belated birthday present nonetheless. 